Okay, folks, my name is Robert Jones. Uh, welcome back to uh, Rolling Smoke Barbecue and Cooking. Today I'll be making a beef brisket out on my pellet grill, my Pit Boss pellet grill. I'm heating up my pellet grill to a 250 degree uh, temperature. Going to put it directly on the grates. Uh, Going to use my uh, Thermoworks uh, signals uh, thermometer. Going to put uh, a, a probe on the grill grates and a probe in the brisket. Uh, this brisket started out to be an 18 pound brisket. I uh, got it at Kroger's, my local Kroger's, for $2.99 a pound. And uh, I decided I'm not going to cook a whole 18 pound brisket. So, what I did was I just cut it in half. I'm going to cook the flat today. And uh, yesterday, off camera, I went ahead and pre seasoned it, did not use a binder or anything, just put it and just uh, washed my brisket down and then I patted it dry and it still had enough moisture to put this uh, rub on it and it's the Zach's original style barbecue brisket rub. A uh, buddy of mine uh, that lives down the road here uh, used to be on a barbecue team in Texas and uh, highly recommended this stuff. He said uh, that it's one of several, uh, several brisket competitions. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. Uh, like I said, I didn't use a binder or nothing. I just put it directly on. I'm gonna cook it fat side down and uh, I'm, the first internal temperature I'm gonna come uh, bring it up to is a uh, 160 to a 165. Then I'm gonna pull it off the, the grill and I'm gonna uh, wrap it in foil. But when I wrap it in foil, I'm also gonna put Beef Cosme in it from uh, Campbell's. I'm gonna put two um, small uh, cans of that in there to keep moisture in it. And I'm gonna put the uh, wrap brisket with the Cosme back on the grill and uh, cook it to a 203 to a 203 or a 205 um, uh, internal temperature, and then I'm gonna probe test it and see uh, the tenderness, if it's like sliding it through butter, and if it is, it'll be good and done, and then I'm gonna put it uh, in a cooler for two hours to rest, wrapped in a towel and the foil, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. See you then. Okay, folks, this is Robert. I'm back rolling smoke barbecue and cooking. I've got my um, brisket on there. I've got my uh, Thermoworks um, signal probe in there. It's gonna give me my first internal temperature of 165. Gonna pull it off, uh, wrap it tinfoil, put a little beef cosme in it, probably about two cans actually. Put it back on, let it cook inside the tinfoil till it reaches a 203 to 205 final internal temperature. Then I'm gonna uh, test it for tenderness by sticking a probe in it, a second probe in it. And uh, if it goes through a uh, goes through it like a, knife, a hot knife through butter, and with no resistance or very least resistance, it's done. Then I'm gonna take the whole thing off of the uh, pellet grill, still wrapped in the foil, wrapping in a blank, uh, wrapping in a towel rather, to put it in my small cooler to let it sit for two hours to rest. That will allow all the juices that have cooked out of the meat during the uh, cooking process to render back into the meat, give it good uh, tenderness, moisture, and give it a good flavor from the rub. So uh, I'm going to come out in about two hours to check it, see how close we are to the internal temperature. The first one, if we're there, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it, like I had just said, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you in about two hours. Okay, folks, I'm back. Uh, it's been roughly about three hours and uh, three, three and a half hours. Uh, took a little bit longer than two hours to get it to where I needed it to be. So right now it's at 164.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and uh, wrap it. And uh, before I wrap it, I'm gonna put uh, the beef cosme on it and everything to keep uh, it moisturized and everything while it uh, finishes cooking up to the internal temperature of 205. So let me get this off the grill and I'll show you how I'm gonna wrap it and everything. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, uh, I put my uh, beef Cosmel on it already from Campbell's. Put all that on there. I used about three quarters of the two cup, uh, the two cans. And I put that on there and everything that's gonna keep the moisture in and uh, it's gonna give it a, a little pond for it to sit in. Uh, to keep it moist and what I'm gonna do is just gonna wrap this tin foil around it and put it back on the pit. I'm gonna 
leave it in this pan because this pan will keep any juices or anything that might get past the tin pole from coming out and getting onto my heating plate of my um, pit boss and going into my grease trap and all my good flavor running out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I've got it wrapped now. Like I've said, a uh, little bit of the beef uh, Cosmel is coming out, but that's fine. It's, it's still in the pan and it's still uh, coming in contact with the bottom of the brisket. So I'm gonna put it back on and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks, got it back on the uh, pit. Uh, using my cart to transfer it from uh, the pit but where I needed to wrap it. Man, he talked about it turned out good with this uh, new cart I got. It was a lot easier just to slide it over from the pit to the cart and then back from the cart to the pit. Man, it's the best investment I ever had uh, made. But anyway, I am uh, got it back on, got it wrapped, got my juices in it and everything, my beef Cosme. Now I'm gonna wait and uh, cook, uh, put it back uh, still at 250 and I'm gonna cook it uh, to an internal temperature of 205. Now, I did turn it down to 225 during the cook a little bit because it tried to get up a little bit, but you don't always run into that situation, so don't take that to heart because sometimes you don't. It just depends on how the cook's going and the temperature outside and everything. But anyway, so I've got it back on the pit and uh, Gonna close the lid on it, let it re, uh, get an internal temperature of 205. Got my probe back in there right now. It's it's cooled back down to about 160 from about 163. It cooled back down to about 160 while I had everything uh, uh, preparing everything with the big Cosmo and everything. So that's normal. So now it's got to get back up to 165 and then carry on through to 205. I'm gonna. Um, check back when it reaches 203 to 205 take a uh, probe stick it in the middle of the brisket and if I get uh, no resistance or very little resistance like uh, kind of like a uh, hot knife through butter uh, consistency then it's ready to uh, take off the pit and then I'll put it in a cooler uh, in this pan in a cooler still wrapped with a towel laid over it for two hours and then we'll slice it and taste test it. It's gonna be awesome. See y'all in a bit. Okay, folks, I'm back. This is Robert with Rolling Smoke Barbecue and Cooking. Uh, fixed to pull it off. It's been about eight and a half hour cook. Uh, my internal temperature now has reached uh, 203. It's got that uh, knife through butter consistency that I was looking for. So it's time to pull it off and uh, We'll see what it tastes like. See you in a bit. This is Robert with Roken Smoke Barbecue and Cooking. It's time for the taste test. Let's see how it tastes. Good and tender, juicy, just like I wanted it. Could have been a little bit more tender, uh, but I had to pull it off at 203 because it was kind of getting late. So uh, I wish I'd kept it at 205, but look how juicy this thing is. Boy, that's good and juicy, isn't it? Man, look at that. Melt in your mouth, man. I tell you what, that's a good brisket. But it turned out like I really wanted it. Uh, everything could have been, like I said, a little bit more tender. Uh, the bin test, I'm gonna try that tomorrow and everything, so tonight. Okay, folks, it's Robert with Rolling Smoke Barbecue and Cooking again. Um, it's uh, two days later. Uh, my battery died on my GoPro, and then the next day we had our family gathering, and um, uh, it turned out great. It turned out real good. Uh, uh, I was satisfied with it and everything. Uh, I think next time, though, I'm gonna inject it because that'll give it a little bit more flavor through and through. It had a good flavor on the outside, but I think I could have uh, made it a little bit more flavorful uh, through and through as far as being on the inside. But it, it turned out real good and everything. And I think the next one I'm gonna inject it with uh, Heath Riles beef injection. So, um, I, you know, that's the only thing I'd have done different with it. And uh, 
I, I couldn't allow, I didn't uh, let it sit in the cooler like I planned on for two hours. What I ended up doing was pulling it back out and uh, putting it on the counter and letting it uh, rest for um, about an hour on the counter and uh, still wrapped in the foil. Then I put it directly from there into the ice box after I cut my, my piece off to, um, to taste test. And uh, like I said, everything turned out good. I just put the, the rest of the unsliced portion into the ice box and um, till it was time. And then I put it in the oven at uh, 300 degrees for about 30 minutes to uh, heat it back up. It still was pretty juicy. It wasn't dried out. Uh, but uh, the next time I think I'm gonna inject it. So thanks for watching.